Well, I'm Vinay Rai. I'm uh, from a business family in India and uh, educated in the United States at MIT and then a little time at the Harvard Business School. Spent a long time in business, 30 years, and then into education and philanthropy. And that's where I thought of writing my book. The book is titled Think India, The Rise of the World's Next Superpower and actually what it means to every American in the sense of what it is in for the American people as they work along with the Indian people in uh, growth new frontier. Well, you know, uh, the two largest uh, growing economies in the world are India and China. China, of course, has been there much longer than in, uh, India. And the United States has invested very heavily there and very profitably over there. And now they should look uh, at India because it is in purchasing power parity, the first largest GDP in the world. And in gross terms, the number 10 one and rising very fast. And as if you go by the Goldman Sachs report, it says by 2050, India will also even overtake United States as the uh, largest economy in the world. So it's time that Americans looked outside their borders for new growth areas. Well, it's in all things. It's a new frontier. You can uh, be there investing in real estate. You can be there investing in services or manufacturing or tourism or anything, you know, or, or entertainment. Entertainment is also becoming very big in India. And a lot of uh, Hollywood movies are actually now getting produced in India, including the animation ones. Well, Think India is just a little whiff of what is possible and probable in India so that it invites them to actually go and visit the country and see and seek opportunities for themselves. But it's, uh, it's across a broad uh, range of topics including the tourism part, the business part, what's moving, what are the Indian habits, what are the psychology of the people, what are their mindsets, how to do business with India and really what to look out for. Because uh, in a way it is really telling the average American people and expose him, him to a new India. What was the most important part of the book for you to write? What did you feel was the greatest message that was spoken? I think I was giving a message of a very vibrant, tolerant, resilient people who are very friendly, who are open to new ideas, new innovation, and who actually think and dream like the American people. There is so much commonality between the people that except for the color of the skin, you won't be able to tell the difference between an American mindset and that of an Indian mindset. Huh? So Indians have a very good opinion of Americans and they want yeah, to Yeah, absolutely. We absolutely think alike and we share the same love for life, the same love for democracy, the same love for values, religious values and spiritual values. And we share obviously a lot of other things about really doing good for the people and the nation as a whole.